In this video, we're going to go over obsessive compulsive disorder, which is often called OCD. The first thing you should know is that OCD was originally categorized as an anxiety disorder, but in the DSM-5, it was given its own category. From its name, obsessive compulsive disorder, you can recognize that this disorder has two components, obsessions and compulsions. Obsessions are recurrent and intrusive thoughts that prompt the individual to engage in senseless rituals called compulsions. A common example is a person is obsessed with the thoughts that their hands are covered with dirt and there are germs. So this causes the individual to keep washing their hands over and over again. In this case, the obsession is the thought of contamination on their hands and the compulsion is the repeated washing of hands. Okay, common obsessions for OCD include fear of contamination, germs or dirt, like in the example that we just went over, unwanted thoughts about sexual acts or inflicting harm on others, and doubts about completing certain tasks. Very good example, individuals who have the obsession that they forgot to turn off the stove. So their compulsion, this senseless ritual they keep performing over and over again, is checking the stove to make sure that it's been turned off. Common compulsions include repetitive hand washing, cleaning, checking, ordering of items, and hoarding. Now, we all have experienced these obsessions and compulsions before, right? There are probably instances where you're like, oh no, I forgot, did I turn off this appliance? And you ran over to check it. These simple instances does not mean that you have obsessive compulsive disorder. Obsessive compulsive disorder is more severe. So they're distressing, they're time consuming, which means that individuals lose an hour or more of their day to these obsessions and compulsions, and they also interfere with daily life. The last thing you should know about OCD is that males and females are affected equally. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and clicking the bell icon for notifications. We release new videos every week covering the highest yield content on the MCAT. Plus, you can check out the video description for links to useful resources like our MCAT Prep mobile application.